You can set up your tent at that place and say, I'm not going to move because this is who God connected me to. This is where he drew me to. And anything that moves me out of this place will be an attack. But I know the spirit revealed to me to stay here. The spirit speaks and God's. Amen? Amen. All right. Now let's go to John. I mean Mark chapter 4. And we're going to move swiftly into the word. And I promise you I won't keep you that long. Unless you want me to. <laughs> Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. And we will uh, begin reading at verse 15. Mark chapter 4 verse 15. Now I want y'all to keep this in your in your in your mind. The blessed, the best blessed place that you can be is hungry for the Lord. When you are hungry for Him, watch this. You are fertile for a revelated word. Okay. When you are hungry for Him, you are fertile soil for a revelated word. Revelated word again brings things and draws you to where the Lord is. Amen. Watch this, verse, verse 15. And these are they by the wayside which the word is sown, but when they have heard, watch what Satan does, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Let's just deal with this. This is why the enemy comes. The enemy comes to attack the person because, and this is what he does, he attacks the person from being hungry for the Lord. This is why everything in this world brings you away from your appetite for Jesus. I want you to hear me. Everything of this world brings you away from the appetite of Christ. The only thing that continues to feed the appetite is the Word. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what the enemy wants to do is get us to be unfertile soil. So now, if we are contaminated with the things of this world, we are, no, we are not fertile soil for the spirit to deposit with inside of us. Because when the spirit deposited, deposits revelated word, he brings you things. He'll bring you a wife. He'll bring you a husband. He'll bring you the career he wants you to have. He'll bring you deliverance. He'll bring you all the things that you need, but you have to be fertile, fertile, fertile. So the enemy immediately comes to attack your hunger. Where there is no hunger, seed cannot be sown. So he gets you occupied with the things of the world and your flesh begins to creep up. Your fleshly desires, your fleshly habits. And, and if you are not, if you're not on it, it continues to creep up, creep up, creep up, creep up to the point where now you don't want anything, you have no appetite at all for the word. And so now he has caused your ground to be dry, cracked and unable to receive seed. Now let's just see the significance of seed. Now, we can go ahead and continue to read in verse 16, and I want y'all to follow me, follow me y'all. And these are they likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who when they heard the word, immediately received it with gladness, and having rooted themselves, so endure for a time afterward, when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of the world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust uh, of other things, their uh, entering uh, in, choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. Now, verses, verse 20 is what I want everybody to, to, to pin on. And these are they which are sown on good ground. Uh oh, that good ground is that fertile ground, that hunger. See, that's, that's, that's the good ground when you're hungry. See, that's the blessed thing that you can be as hungry for the Lord. But watch what he says. Such as hear the word, receive it, and bring forth fruit, some 30, some 60, some 100. Somebody say 30, 30. 60, 100. We talked about this Wednesday. At this point, we see different, different levels of manifestation. Hear me very carefully. 
The Spirit of God wants to lead you to every aspect in your life. Amen. Not just to your spouse. Or not just to your job. Or your career. Or deliverance. But every aspect of your life, the Spirit wants to lead you to the place where Jesus is. Because when you are where, watch this, when you are where, where Jesus, this is why Jesus said, I go and prepare a place for you so that where I am, you may be also. We hear that in, we hear that in funerals, but let's look deeper in that scripture. What he was saying was, I, I, I come to prepare a place for you that so that where I am, you may be also. Because when he, the Spirit leads you, it leads you to the place where Jesus is. And when you are where Jesus is, there's safety. There's favor. There's blessing. There, there, there's, there's strength. There's power. There's grace. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's blessing when, when you are where he is. And some of us, watch this, are only led 30-fold. 30-fold is saying uh, just... 30% of my life was led by the Spirit. I was led to my relationship, but wasn't led to my career. So the relationship stands. It, 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 it's consistent. It, 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 it lasts because that relationship was founded upon the rock. It was founded and you were led by the Spirit to the relationship, but you were not led to the job. So now you were at the job for three months and got laid off. Anything that is birthed from the kingdom by the Spirit remains. This is why Jesus said, I pray that they may have fruit and that their fruit remain. Amen. Watch, watch this. Because where he leads you, he protects what's his will. Do you understand what I'm saying? He, 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 he keeps his will. He keeps it. And the only thing that the enemy can devour is something that was not birthed by the Spirit of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Anything that was, any, any place, anything that you were led by the Spirit to remains. 34, some people 64. That's better than 34, so now the Spirit speaks to them. They get revelation, and the revelation that they get, it brings them to a job. It brings them to being delivered from alcohol or being delivered from drugs or, 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 or being restored from different types of things. And they receive the, the power of God in that area in their life, and then they were drawn to the career. But they were not drawn by every aspect of their life. And that aspect of their life that the Spirit did not lead them to can be devoured. Do you understand? But watch what he says. The, next, the third group, he said, was brought forth fruit a hundredfold. That meant every aspect of their life was they were led by the Spirit every place. To every aspect of their life, they, they were led by the Spirit. And this is the person that they just, everything they touch will be blessed. This is what David said he, in, the, in Psalms. He said, and, every, and you should be like a, a tree planted by the rivers of water which bringeth forth fruit in his season. His leaves shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. It will continue. It will be, it will flourish. It will be blessed. Why is it that everything he does will prosper? Because this person is one that was led to every aspect in their life by the Spirit. Do you understand? You, you, you follow? Amen. Okay, now watch this. So, verse 21. Verse 21. Look what Jesus says. And he said unto them, Is, it, is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or a bed and not to be set up on a candlestick? Let's deal with this. Watch what he says. Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel? You don't have a candle to put it under something. A candle reveals something or manifests something, right? So this is what Jesus is talking about, right? In this parable, he's talking about revelation. Somebody say revelation. revelation. Kingdom revelation. This is what he's talking about. What he's saying is, when the Spirit of God reveals word to you, Watch what, if something is going to be manifested, 
You, you follow me? And we talk about how he brings things to you and how he guides you to places, right? Right? Amen. Okay, watch this. Let's continue. Let's continue. For there is nothing hid which shall not be manifest, neither anything kept secret, but that it 